بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear students welcome back to our new lesson for the subject of accounting second paper this class is for applicable 11 and 12 business studies students and also for english bachelor students we are going to carry the chapter 5 this is the name of financial statement of joint stock company i will discuss the lecture number 5 for solving the creative question of financial statement of company dear students in each lesson I have given a home assignment for solving creative question. I hope you are solving these problems of creative questions. Okay. Dear students, now you can take your accounting learning workbook and open at page number 330-330 and question number 9, create question number 9 from your accounting learning workbook and take your accounting copy for solving these creative questions. Dear students, just I read it the trial blends and adjustment from exercise 9. The authorized capital of Superstar Company Limited is DACA 3 lakh and divided into 30,000 shares of DACA 10 each. The following trial blends and other information are available as at the date as at 31st December 2014. In debit side, cash at bank took a 25,000, cash in hand 45,000, machinery 340,000, uncollectible debt, bet current account, prepaid rent, trade expenses, office expenses, rent 10 months, paid, so 2 months due, wages and salary, that is the direct expenses, because it, it, it starts with wages, when these items are starting with salary, then you can take it operating expenses, company registration fee, goodwill, opening stock, sundry debtors, purchase with debt, income tax, deferred advertisement, preliminary expenses, in right side that is credit side and claim dividend, retain earnings, reserve fund, bad debt reserve, rent payable, sundry creditors, sales with debt, source tax. It's a new item commission income tax reserve 15 percent bond 1714 share premium and share capital 15,000 shares stack of 1,50,000 total of debit stack of 8,50,000 of trial bands and total of credit of trial bands stack of 8,50,000 adjustment or other information as follows a closing stock value stack of 55,000 and it's Includes unused station item of 5000 B requirement uh, total bed debt stack of 5000 and bed debt reserve increased by taka 1500 income tax reserve increased taka 6000 one fourth of the default advertisement to be written off requirement a determine the net amount of bet or prepare a bet current account it's a new requirement B requirement uh, determine the gross profit or loss of superstar company. C requirement determine the net profit or loss that is after tax of superstar company. Dear students, I think you have taken your accounting copy and accounting learning workbook. So I can start the solution of creative, num creative question number 9 for requirement A. 
the net amount of bet is determined by using bet current account for requirement day at first you have to open an account for bet that is bet current account it's a mobbing balance method to be used when any account op opened then you can use mobbing balance or reference column or modern concept laser method used totally seven columns are available in modern concept or modern format of laser date account title laser folio debit taka credit taka balance taka debit and credit you can see in the slide the screen totally three accounts are available in account title column that is in that current account at first this started with balance bd you're seeing in the trial balance bet current account in debit side taka 4500 that is the amount of balance bd for bet current account this amount to be written in debit balance taka column and then purchase again you can see in the trial balance purchase with bet taka 115000 so this bet should be deducted from the purchase amount Purchase total 1 lakh 15, no other adjustment available, so you can deduct it from purchase amount. When purchase with bet, then bet is deducted, deducted with the amount of 15 by 115. So 1 lakh 15,000 into 15 divided by 115 is equal to taka 15,000. So in this creative question, purchase bet stack of fifteen thousand. You have to remember this one. Always purchase bet is debit. So in bet current account purchase amount, stack of fifteen thousand in debit. Available balance of debit four thousand five hundred. Now total of debit balance nineteen thousand five hundred in debit column. Another one you can see in. Trial balance again sales with bet taka 2 lakh 7000. So with bet at the same stage, a same label, a same concept for sales as purchase. So sales 2 lakh 7000. In this amount of bet is taka 2 lakh 7000 into 15. Divided by 115 is equal to taka 27,000. Okay, you have to remember it. Always sell bet is credit item. So, sell bet to be posted in credit taka. Now, you have to balance it. How to balance it? In available balance of taka debit 19,500. But at this moment, credit posting taka 27,000. So, this this amount of it to, to be deducted now you can get the credit balance of taka 7500 in credit column from this moment you have to remember another one when bet current account is credit balance to be shown then you can indicate it as current liabilities dear students You have to write it in a hurry. Requirement a very important question for 11 and 12 business studies students and financial statement for first paper and second paper. This is the second paper, but you have to remember you have to solve for first paper also. Dear learners, I think you have written in your copy. Now you can go to the second requirement. Requirement B, determine the amount of gross profit or loss of superstar company. So any kind of profit when is determined, then you can open a statement of comprehensive income. So only gross profit, it's a partial income statement. 
at this moment you can write in this way in the amount of gross profit or loss is determined below using statement of comprehensive income that is partial particulars column then amount taka column detail amount taka detail amount taka total column totally four columns to be drawn in your copy okay you know for determining gross profit two main heads are available net sales and cost of goods sold okay at first you have to find out the amount of net sales so you can write sales with debt taka 2,7,000 in trial balance then less bet 15 divided by 115 when the word used with bet or with are included then you can deduct it in this way bet amount 15 by 115 of total sales or total purchase amount so sales bet amount is stuck at 27,000 it is deducted from the total sales so at this moment net sales of taka 2 lakh in outer column is available now for finding out the gross capital loss you can deduct cost of goods sold from the net sales so you can write less cost of goods sold dear students i think you know what is cost of goods sold total first four steps are available in cost of goods sold number one opening a stock second one net purchase third one direct expenses fourth one closing a stock so you can write opening a stock from trial means 35,000 in middle column then add net purchase so net purchase how to find out at first you have to write purchase with back taka 1 lakh 15,000 at the same level of bet 15 by 115 as sales you can deduct it from the total purchase amount the bet amount is taka 15,000 you can deduct it from the purchase at this moment net purchase amount taka 1 lakh in middle column another hit uh, direct expenses totally two items are available in this uh, trial blends for direct expenses first one trade expenses it can be said that when trade expense and office expenses is available in the same trial bin, then you can take trade expenses as direct expenses and office expenses as operating expenses. students that's why i have written here trade expenses direct expenses stuck a 7000 in middle column another one wage and salary when the word of wage is starting then wage is indicated as direct expenses but when salary fade or these words or started with salary then it can be said as indirect operating expenses but at this moment in this trial bench wages and salary at first given information wages so it is indicated as direct expenses you have to write in middle column of direct expenses 15500 Okay, at this moment opening stock detail net purchase and direct expenses amount to be added total amount one lakh fifty seven thousand five hundred and then you can deduct the closing stock taka fifty thousand from the one lakh fifty seven thousand five hundred so you can deduct it and go to outer column one lakh seven thousand five hundred that is the amount of cost of goods sold now for finding out the gross capital loss you can deduct 1 lakh as 7500 from 2 lakh and you can get the gross profit amount is taka 92500 this very necessary information for you question number a requirement a closing stock uh, bail taka 55000 and it, it's include unused stationery 
totally closing stock bail with 55 but it's included unused so this unused stationary amount to be deducted from the closing stock that's why net closing stock is taka 50,000 which is written in cost of goods sold item 50,000 dear learners i think you have written in your copy for requirement b of okay, question number nine now i can go to the third one requirement b the net determine the net profit or loss or after tax of superstar company limited so you can write in this way requirement c the amount of net profit after tax is determined by using statement of comprehensive income that is partial now you can start with gross profit it's not given in information but you can take it from requirement b 92500 then less operating expenses totally four heads are available in operating expenses first one uncollectible debt expenses there is the net amount of 6500 how to find out the net amount of uncollectible expenses in trial balance uncollectible debt taka 4500 sorry 3500 but in adjustment number b total of bad debt taka 5000 and bad debt reserve increased by taka 1500 in credit side bad debt reserve available 4000 from ssc label or accounting first paper you done in and critical oi that is the oi all bad debt and add new bad debt add new bad debt reserve less all bad debt reserve that is the amount of uncollectible debt expenses but modern concept you can write in this way total bad debt taka 5000 plus to new bad debt reserve taka 5500 minus all bad debt reserve 4000 so net amount upon collectible or bad debt expense taka 6500 to be written in middle column from this moment you have to write in this way uncollectible debt expenses another item is available for operating office expenses 22,000 in trial bands but one adjustment is available unused stationery taka 5,000 in trial bands no stationery amount is available so you can deduct the amount of unused stationery from the office expenses in operating expenses and can get net amount of his office expenses 17,000 in middle column another item rent 8,500 from trial bins this amount is paid for 10 months so two months due Two months due amount 17,000 to be added with the amount of 8,500 you can get total of amount of taka 10,200 in middle column another one advertisement written up taka one fourth in trial bands no advertisement amount is available but adjustment number four one fourth of the default advertisement to be written up the first advertisement indicated as fictitious asset but when this asset is to be written up then that amount to be written in operating expenses that's why i have written in operating expenses advertisement written off taka 8000 total of operating expenses to be written in outer column 41700 now this amount would be deducted from the gross profit for getting a parting profit 50,500 after this to be added other incomes in this trial bins 
only one other income is available that is commission received in trial bench taka 3000 at this moment total amount of profit taka 53800 and now we can deduct the other expenses from this amount in this trial bench no other expenses available in trial bench but bond should be charged percentage on 15 percent you know bond is the long term liability so bond loan or mortgage loan that is the amount of interest is to be treated as other expenses that is non-operating expenses so you can write in other expenses interest on bond taka 21,000 because bond 1714 with the six month interest to be charged so you can write it in outer column 21,000 and for getting net profit before tax you can deduct it from the amount of 53,800 now you can get net profit before tax taka 32,800 and then you can deduct the new item for second paper financial statement income tax reserve from adjustment is available adjustment number three income tax reserve increased taka 6000 so this amount is to be deducted from the amount of net profit before tax 32800 and you can get taka 26800 for our requirement that is the net profit after tax Dear students, now you have to take the new home assignment. Open at page number 331. And to be solved, exercise 10. Dear learners, I think you have written your know, copy. Exercise number 9 from page number 330 and from accounting learning workbook level 2. With this lesson, I have completed totally six lectures for financial statement of company. Inshallah, I will try to conduct another lessons for this chapter. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.